Yeah, training camp has been good. Um, I've actually been training like all the way through since like November, December. Just um, I was waiting for a fight, you know, whatever was going to pop up, and finally got the call for February 11th. So yeah, it's just been full steam ahead. Um, training six days a week, like four times a day almost. And yeah, it's just been pretty full on. It was a little different, just uh, I was dealing with a bit of adversity. Um, I lost my grandma about two and a half weeks ago. Uh, real difficult battle with COVID. Um, so it was a bit hard mentally as well, along with you know, physical training. But um, I had to keep on pushing through and dedicate this fight to her. I fight it because this is what I do. Um, love the sport. Um, been doing this for over 10 years now, and yeah, just I just want to keep going, keep fighting until uh, I chase my dream, and that's getting that belt around my waist, and I won't stop till I get it. Amazing here. Yeah. I've got like so many training partners that are, you know, young and hungry as well. So it inspires me to to, to keep training and keep pushing. I've um, got wonderful um, coaching staff here, like DJ Jackson. Grateful to have him. Um, you know, great MMA um, training partners such as um, Y2K, Ben Arm, Stan. You know, they're all inspiring to me. So yeah, grateful to be here. Uh, it's the most satisfying feeling, um, you know, after a, a long training camp, you know, all the blood, sweat and tears that you put in and then to get your hand raises, it's probably one of the ultimate feelings. Really,